What isn't as dangerous as our parents led us to believe. My mother went one step further than the no swimming after eating rule by forbidding even having a bath straight after eating. I later discovered that her belief that this was dangerous dated back to her childhood when a friend of hers died in the bath after eating a meal. He was supposed to meet up with a group of friends, including her, at a youth club but he never turned up because he was dead, which is a fair excuse really. The kid probably just had a congenital heart defect or something but in her mind it was going in the bath after eating which killed him. Talking to strangers. Once you get a job, almost every customer that you interact with is a stranger. Until they're friends enemies. Popping your knuckles joints. My physical therapist mom encourages it, and is envious when I do my neck because she can't do hers for other reasons. About 98% of what my mother told me, being close to TVs, turning on lights inside the car, consuming gum, the Dutch. Those little driveway appropriate fireworks, my mother always made me stay about 50 feet away where I couldn't see a dang thing, and holding a sparkler was absolutely forbidden. We were allowed to use sparklers, but my mom made such a big production about being super careful that I'm still nervous around them as an adult. Eating watermelon seeds. No, the black ones will not make a watermelon grow in your stomach. I always blame rugrats for this. Petting zoos. Turns out goats aren't murder machines, looking to attack any child they don't know who enters their pen. I had a visit to a petting zoo that implies otherwise. I hate goats now. Getting into cars with strangers. Thanks Uber. You're welcome. Playing violent video games and then meeting your internet friends IRL who you play violent video games with. I did my due diligence and asked them beforehand if they were deviant serial killers and they said no. So hey, good enough for me. Eating raw cookie dough. I remember one day my mom was baking cookies. I snuck a tiny amount of dough in my mouth, about the size of a penny. She caught me and looked at me like I just pulled the pin of a grenade. I was always told to eat my carrots so I would have perfect vision when I grew up. Kid me consumed excessive amounts of baby carrots because I didn't want to go blind. Fast forward to my 30s and I have an astigmatism in both eyes and need to wear special thick contact lenses for it. My vision sucks. Lies. It was all lies. This myth was spread to hide the fact that Britain had developed better radar. Looking at the sun. I know. Obviously you shouldn't stare at it, but growing up I genuinely believed that even a moment's accidental glance would have your eyes erupt in terrible fire and you'd spend the rest of your life like Mr. Magoo. I used to never, ever even glance in its direction, feeling uncomfortable even if I was simply walking towards it. They frick you up, your mum and dad. Talking to strangers on the internet. Tell your parents I said hi. Eating and going swimming immediately after. You don't have to wait 30 minutes. I'd imagine it's a myth spread about by parents to keep their kids from wolfing down food too fast and then proceeding to vomit in the pool. Eating any sort of meat that isn't charred to oblivion. At that point I might as well save some time and eat charcoal. I was 22 years old before I realized I love steak. Turns out I just didn't like well done steak that my dad would destroy. Master Bashan, you definitely won't go blind, I promise. Unless you have really bad aim. Chocolate, my mom always told me not to eat it because it would make me look ugly and rust my brain. 11 years later and I turned out alright, I think. Are total not robots. Not wearing a coat. Swallowing chewing gum. Marijuana, growing up in the 70s 80s, we were led to believe it could kill you. And if the pot didn't kill you, the crack that you would immediately start smoking after having that one joint would. It was a direct jump from pot to crack, with no steps in between. I'm still waiting for folks to offer me drugs every 20 minutes so that I can firmly tell them no and then go tell a police officer, just like Dare said would happen. Doing anything in your house during a thunderstorm will attract lightning. Use the phone, lightning will know and a bolt is going to shoot out of the handset. Take a shower, lightning will know and strike you right in the butt. Watch TV, oh you should know lightning is watching you too and it's going to explode the TV right in your face. 
Really the only safe place in the house is my parents bedroom, their bathroom, phone, and TV are all lightning proof during storms but I'm not allowed to go in there. I remember during storms going around and turning everything off and unplugging everything. And then us all watching one of those little 3 inches black and white TVs every kitchen from the 80s seemed to have because the cord was smaller on it or some stupid crap. Basically I was trained to hide under my blankets with the lights off during any weather. I understand how lightning works and how being in proximity of a strike is dangerous but my parents taught me that I will attract lightning by doing anything in the house. I remember during storms going around and turning everything off and unplugging everything. We've had TVs and electronics killed by power surges during thunderstorms. I'm not going to criticize anyone who unplugs them. When I was young my mom would always go to Starbucks, but she always told me that I could never drink coffee. She told me it was bad for young people. When I asked her why, she just said it would make me sick. I just went along with that. Now, I drink a lot of coffee. Inside a Starbucks yesterday, I was waiting in line to get my latte. There was a sign below the menu that said coffee contained acrylamide. Well, turns out acrylamide is a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer, or birth defects, or other reproductive harm. Everything in California causes cancer. There is literally a tag on my dining room chair that says that it may cause cancer. A sharp knife. Dull knives are more dangerous than sharp ones. To be honest, the only reason our parents told us this crap was because they were annoyed by whatever we were doing. Don't play in traffic. It annoys me. Drinking from a glass with a spoon in it. Still have both of my eyes. I walk around holding my fork in my mouth as I microwave leftovers. Despite my dad assuring that I'll someday follow in his footsteps and eat myself with it. I have yet to be harmed by my fork holding habits. The Harry Potter series because magic is evil apparently. Sheesh. My mom used to tell me this stuff. She's a Christian. Luckily I sacrifice goats to Lucifer now that I'm an adult and on my own. Mexicans. It's like a fantasy of mine to hook up with a girl whose parents hate Mexicans just to pee them off. Eating fatty foods. Turns out it's sugar that's terrible for you. My life isn't in danger whenever I eat an unpeeled fruit or vegetable. Um kiwis with the skin. Being sincere. Failure. Mum and dad I think failure is the foundation for success in any field. So you both were completely wrong. A friend just cheered me up with mistakes are proof you are trying. Talking to strangers on the internet. Though I'm still watching all you weirdos. Driving with your dome lights on. Smoking marijuana in a safe, private environment. Safe sex. I was under the influence that there was no problem with driving with the dome light just that it creates a glare on the window so it could possibly make you miss something at night. The woman who works in my house to this day doesn't let me drink anything cold after getting a hot shower or something hot after being in the rain or a pool. Cannabis marijuana. My parents are pretty conservative and had also been wildly misinformed. Now that I work in the industry and have educated them, their view is wholly different. My parents have always been hardcore weed is a devil bible thumpers. Then I find out that my dad smoked weed with my little sister, yesterday, 23 years and suddenly he's like well I'll give it a shot. Being exposed to gay people. Note, my parents are now in their 70s. I've managed to get them to come around for the most part on social acceptance, but I still see the underlying doubt in them at times. Doesn't help that one of my father's co-workers committed suicide over being gay years ago. <laughs> Swallowing gum, cracking my knuckles, driving without my shoes on, swimming after eating without waiting 30 minutes, pretty much everything. Not going to church every Sunday taking the Lord's name in vain. Haven't burst into flames yet. Hail Satan. In this case, the purported danger comes after death. That you would burn into flames if you were to have sex twice. I still don't know if I'm the adopted one or if my sibling is. Dungeons and Dragons. Tarot. Short skirts. Biggest danger of DND is putting so much time into the hobby. It's pretty much all I do in my spare time. Ever since I managed to put together a regular group, I spend almost every free minute I have either preparing the campaign or playing said campaign. Psychedelics. 
catching on fire is definitely as big of an issue as all the stress adults put on stop, drop and roll led me to believe. Turning on the lights inside the car. Eating while standing. I was told I'd have fat legs. Playing outside. You're not going to be kidnapped. Cracking knuckles. Touching baby birds. Wasn't told it was dangerous for people, but for the baby birds because if you touched it its mother wouldn't want it back. Totally not true. Totally will be telling the same lie to my kids because I don't want them to touch baby birds. This is the goodest fly boy. He will bring you 10 years of happiness in exchange for a like on this video. Like and subscribe you magnificent person.